Since the beginning, it was my wife's idea some eight, nine, ten years ago, something like that, because weekends were iffy sometimes, and then we, she came up with this idea. And ready to see? Yeah. Follow me. This is, we were in the process of bottling yesterday because we only bottle on rainy days. So we, we didn't have the time to clear it all out. But we can do about 600 cases a day with this bottling equipment. And 600 cases, we are seven, 8,000 cases a year. So we only have to work 12, 12 to 15 days to do <laughs> all, all our needs. <laughs> These are called fermentation tanks. Uh, the juice, we pump it down here, and then we let uh, the fermentation begin. And fermentation is the process that changes the sugar inside the grapes to alcohol. That's the magic. That, that's that's the magic. <laughs> every two weeks or three, we have to go through every barrel. Uh, and fill it up with additional wine, which we reserve just for that purpose. And because it evaporates. So it's not a good way to keep wine for a long time. That's uh, everything in a winery works with pumps. So we pump, uh, one, once a barrel is full, like all of these are, you can't pull it. So. The, the way to get the wine out of here, it's really to pump it out and put it in a smaller uh, stainless steel tank. I've had numerous wine tours before and I just think this was very informative. They had a little bit more of in-depth um, description as far as like the, the oak barrels versus the stero bar stero barrels, which I have not seen. So we have a rosé. Oh, we got more of the birch demeanor. Yeah. It goes without saying that the wines are good. 